Hey, everybody, make sure you come see me do live stand-up comedy in person. You can shake my hand. You can touch me. You can pet my head. Stand Up Live, Phoenix, Arizona, September 19th, September 20th. Come on out, Phoenix, Arizona, Scottsdale. Hell, drive all the way up from Tucson. Make sure you listen to all the other podcasts on the Fake Mustache label. Fake Mustache Studios loves talking shit with Eddie Ift, about last night with Brad Williams and Adam Ray, Let Me Tell You Something with Caroline Manzo, The Perfect Ten Podcast with Ralphie May and the great Lana Turner, and of course, Industry Standard with Barry Katz. Go to iTunes, hit subscribe to all of those. Come on now, enjoy the podcast. You thinking about starting a new website? You should. Why don't you have a website right now? Right now, you listening to this. What if your name is uh, Mickey Ishkabibble? Why not MickeyIshkabibble.com? You ever think about that? Don't you think you deserve a website? Get a website. Do it. Get an online store. Maybe you have a business. Get a website for your business. Maybe you're a barber. Why not just have a website for your little barber shop and say, hey, look at all these nice haircuts I give. But whatever you do, you got to go to GoDaddy. Dot com. Get a website. Go and register your new site with GoDaddy.com right now. GoDaddy.com offering our listeners right here a great new special offer for its most popular .com domain name. That's right. You email me at jmore.com the funniest, wackiest, weirdest domain name that you can think of. Uh, you might want to do... Hey, I just poop my pants and I smell cheese, but it's not coming from my pants. It's coming from the kitchen because my wife's making fondue.com. That's probably a little long, but what if you pulled that off and you win the contest? I'm going to be sending you free t-shirts and free autographed things. GoDaddy.com. Email me and let me know the domain name that you registered. This is your turn, your time to make me laugh. Let me know how creative you can be, and let me know how deep you know this podcast. Enter the promo code STORIES, as in more stories, STORIES, at checkout at GoDaddy.com to redeem your new or transfer.com for only $2.49 for the first year. Two fifty dollars for a year? Come on, man. It's practically free. That is free. It's $2.50. GoDaddy.com. Click the GoDaddy.com banner at jmore.com if you wish. Some limitations apply. Please see web fight. Website, web fight. How about webfight.com? Web fight, webbed feet, people fighting with webbed feet, fighting.com. <laughs> See the website for details. Impress me. GoDaddy.com. Enter stories. Do it. This will be fun. Put your name on it. Just put your name on it. That's all I say. Be a man or a woman. Put your name on it. Well, I'd like to hear about it, potheads. How the fuck you gonna know how to be great if you don't study greatness? Look at the game change. Donuts. If you want to battle with either that you will say yes, we're You know, you're not a bad looking man, Mr. Gals. But you are, Blanche. You are in that chair. There's something wrong with us. Something very, very wrong with us. The John DiMaggio. I just sent a link to some guy that lives in Vegas. Hey, really? John DiMaggio's coming back. Last time I was here, we did two black guys talking hockey, and everyone's like, I just listened to that. So right now there's a guy in Vegas, John DiMaggio. I guess it's Vegas. Really? Uh, he keeps tweeting about how hot it is in Vegas. So How, how hot is it in Vegas? It's so uh, hot. I, I saw Superman in a cab. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that, that is wild stuff. Uh, John DiMaggio, voice of Jake the Dog on Futurama. No, no. <laughs> Jake the Dog on Adventure Time. And, of course, the voice of uh, Bender the Robot on Futurama. Pound Puppies? Pound Puppies, yes. Niblet. Uh, gosh, what else? <laughs> Niblet, yeah, the sheepdog. Dude. Hey, don't, don't front, man. Oh, who's people, front? People, I got kids. <laughs> you, yeah, you've watched it. All right. All right, you had to watch it. Uh, I tweeted that you were coming in, uh, and literally they, were, they came in so fast. This guy, I, I wrote, uh, here, I'll tell you exactly what I wrote. The John DiMaggio coming to record more stories. Last time here, we created this, two black guys talking hockey, and I put a, a YouTube link up to more stories balls of you and I doing. Right. Hey, about that John the yeah. quick. <laughs> And then, Let me tell you something about that Jonathan Quick. He quick. And then uh, he quick, he the, quick. the response is awesome. Now you're going to go back and listen to episode 137. 
Uh, I just watched that 10 minutes before your tweet. So damn funny. You guys are money together. Come on, Flames! <laughs> Somebody else up here. Go, Flames! <laughs> and then the Flames Sir, story, man. Sir Gumbo tweets, HBO should be beating down your doors for an animated series. The two of you together with those minds. Quick. Ooh. Quick. Tell them about the down the quick. Hey, uh, the John DiMaggio, we got like a little surprises for you. Not surprises, anything weird. Like there's right. no shenanigans. Like, hey, right. bring out the Hooter girls. They're hot. <laughs> like, I guess a radio guy. What have you been up to? What voices have you been doing? Um, you know, I've been doing some stuff on, uh, on um, Hulk Agents of Smash. Gosh, what else have I done? Um, Hulk? Hulk Agents of Smash. It's, uh, if that's um, going to be a ticket yeah, out, yeah. it'll riot on you. Huh? Yeah, spit out your gum and they'll go crazy. Really? Yeah. Tell him to spit out his freaking gum. All right. Man, what is going on? Why is he chomping on something? Hey, What's check this out. Oh, yeah. And then it began. Wait, let's gum. do folio artists. Ready? Then it began to rain. <laughs> <laughs> nice, right? It's raining. Um, well, uh, no, who, so do you play no, Hulk? Um, no, 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 no. I play one of the bad guys. How are you a character actor in voiceovers? <laughs> <laughs> How am I? Niblet. Yeah, I know. Are you the pound puppy? Yeah, well, I'm niblet. Yeah, I'm, like, niblet. I'm, I'm the, boner. I'm, I'm growing guy. pains. I'm this guy. I'm, you know, there's all sorts of stuff going on. Um, but Jake the dog, game over, Futurama. Yeah, uh, ga- Futurama, um, sadly, is, uh, is, is ending for now. I don't know what the hell. It it's still come plays back to, it's, forever. Yeah, I mean, it's, and it's come back to life before. So, I mean, Matt Groening has, you know, he can print his own money. I mean, if he wants to, if he wants to do another, you know, another run at DVD movies, he can do it. So who knows, man? <clears throat> what are uh, are residuals know. for cartoons different than residuals for like being photographed in person? Um, no, it's just it's just that you're paid on a different scale, and but you're paid the same percentage of, uh, of you know when you get residuals and stuff like that. All right. You know, uh, Johnny, uh, you were very good at uh, breaking down uh, R&B songs last time you were here. Do you remember that? Talking about the well, well, <laughs> well, well. Today at work at Moore Stories, uh, sorry, at uh, J. Moore Sports on Fox Sports Radio. Check on your local Fox listings, yeah. jmoresports.com yeah. Sports. if you wish. Uh, Matty Boy, uh, associate producer of the show. Mm-hmm. Hey, Matty. Just uh, started coming up with the ditty, so much so that I secretly recorded it on my phone. Oh, shit. Uh, got, what is it? Now, he did Wow Wow, and I'm out of my game. Gotta let the jizz flow, I believe was the name of it. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah. with John Gotta DiMaggio's help. Flow. Yeah. Uh, spill, my, spill. Gotta, Gotta let, let my jizz. jizz. Gotta let the jizz spill. spill and yeah. I think with your help, this <laughs> could go. <laughs> That's fucking no, it's not. Now when you hear it, it's, gotta, it's, it, the melody is nice. But I, I think we go off on it. I, I think you should hear it first. Uh, yeah, play it. Uh, we got it. Which take you gonna do? A lot of takes. <sighs> All right, let it spill. Take three. This isn't a good one. <laughs> when I'm alone, <laughs> I think of you next to my ball. Yeah, it's definitely not good. <laughs> and then the next you line You guys is, just shit the bed on that one. Oh, that no way, way, dude. The next line was, wax paper on my balls. This is stupid. Here, 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 you on. got it or what? Here, hold on. Everybody hanging there is totally... <laughs> I might as well just make it up myself right now. Yeah, shit. you should. You should. You hold on. No, you should hear the melody. Stuff. So you're doing fucking sha na na Hey, they were a Woodstock, man. I know. sha na na At noon. You. The condom, cause I gotta let my jizz spill. Gotta let my jizz spill. I don't use a condom, cause I gotta, gotta let, let my jizz spill. I gotta let my jizz spill. We gotta do a video for this. All right, I think we need to do a video. For, I think we need to actually go to Santa Monica Pier. Just have Maddie on the on the. Uh, Michael McDonald sings. I don't. I gotta let my jizz. <laughs> What, what's the first lyric? I don't use a condom. <laughs> got my jizz. I don't use a condom. I gotta let my jizz spill. <laughs> I don't use a condom. I gotta let my jizz spill. Billy Bragg. I don't use a condom. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta let me just spill. <laughs> I don't care for I, Dick Cheney. Gotta let me just spill. <laughs> Barry White sings. Well, I'll let, let just... you have that one, honey. 
I don't use a condom. I got to let my jizz spill. <laughs> I don't use a condom, baby. I got to let my jizz spill. Yeah. Oh, man. Baby, when I let my jizz spill all over you, let me tell you something. Gotta it's got to be. I got to let my jizz spill. Got to let my jizz spill. I'm talking about the well, well. I got to let my jizz spill. Got to let his jizz spill. Uh, this is Barry White. And I would like to let you know that when I let my jizz spill, it is the sweetness. Can you dig it? Digging when the jazz spells. 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 When the jazz spells. Digging when the jazz spells. When the jazz spells. Digging when the jazz spells. When the jazz spells. The obligatory rapper that has come in in the bullshit song. When I'm laying down and I'm inside my girl, I drop my seat inside a frown and I make her hair curl because I got to let my jizz spill with Barry Dubs. He's my main man all the way back from the club. Letting jizz spill. Got to let the jizz spill. Oh, just letting it spill. (laughs) Got to let the jizz spill. (laughs) We're going to make a video. I want Maddie alone on the Ferris wheel. I got to let my jizz spill. So (laughs) I got to let my jizz spill. On flames. Gotta let my chest spill. Let's go, flames. Come on, flames. Spill. It can't be this difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Keep I... the puck out of the net, flames. <laughs> right said Fred. <laughs> I let my, my chest spill. spill. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what artist? Was that Hootie? No, yeah, that was totally. That was Hootie the Blowfish version of Let My Jizz Spill. We were having a discussion about <laughs> hey, <laughs> country western music, and somebody goes, What about Hootie the Blowfish, man? They were, they were uh, Af- he was African American. He was a country western ad- artist. I'm like, Yeah, so is Gwyneth Paltrow. If you want to put, just throw people on the country western heat. Oh, we were talking about Riley Cooper dropping the N bomb at a oh, Kenny Chesney concert. Yeah, well, you know. Which, by the way, when you say, I think I think you have to say that. I think you have to say it when you buy the ticket. You have to say to get in. What's the yeah, password? Exactly. I'll fight any N here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> At any country show, any country music password? show. Password. Harold. I don't know, mm-hmm. him, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I will fight any N in here. <laughs> All right, come on, man. Which, by the way, if you say that at a Kenny Chesney concert, it's like saying, I'll fight that guy. See that guy? Yeah. <laughs> See that guy? Hot dog. In- <laughs> <laughs> uh, go to jmore.com, hit the Amazon banner, and buy things. jmore.com. Maybe you want to, uh, you want to buy something maybe that if, John if, DiMaggio if, if, has wow, created. That is, that is wild stuff. Some of the old, uh, you and Tim doing the comedy. <laughs> oh, God. Living check to check. Dude. Yeah. Check to ch- living check to check. Uh, Patri- Every person that emails me about Amazon has like the wackiest names. It's never like Mike Brown. Hey, I used to coach the Lakers. I bought How to Coach and Not Get Fired Aww. on Amazon. Aww. Too soon? He's Aww. up and running. He's got Earl Clark. Yeah. Made me feel great. <laughs> uh, Patricio Arvizu. Oh, okay. JJ recently clicked on the Amazon banner and went through Amazon.com through jmore.com. Parentheses. That's the exact copy we have to say to be mentioned in the podcast, right? Not really, but sure. And purchased a sound pop waterproof Bluetooth speaker so I could listen to more stories, more sports, and other more esque content uh, like the Adam Carolla's uh, book. He likes you. I love him. By the way, would it be possible to have Maddie record at a higher volume? I love when they get after fucking things. Well, it drives me nuts when I'm in a subway station. I can't listen to the podcast even when my iPhone is at full volume. The more my ears bleed when it's at full volume, the better. The following is a kind. And then he goes on and on. Uh, you say haters say you only have six impressions. Walken, Tracy, Norm, Keitel, Sandler, Colin. Here are thoughts. I listen to a bunch of your shows. And look, he lists... <laughs> He lists 37 impressions. Uh, Number 35, generic Mexican. That's right after Wanda Sykes. (laughs) Bono, uh, Clint Eastwood, Ina Garten, Chris Tucker, Forrest Whitaker, Madden, George Bush. I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. We got some lawbreakers in here tonight. (laughs) Generic douchebag surfer dude. Let's go to Savannah Lava, which is Brace from Gigolos. Anyway, that's his name. Uh, He goes, I'm probably missing a few, but there's like 35 impressions right there. Uh, By the way, thank you for signing my book when I came to see you live. Pato. So Patricio Arvizu goes by Patu. No, thank you, brother, for reminding me. Oh, Al Pacino loves this man. I'm playing 
Joe Paterno. <laughs> Jerry, what are all these kids doing? That's... I got to let my jizz flow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Jerry's house. He's got linebackers that are very small. How about... Um, Doesn't make sense to me. Dude, Nine-year-old linebacker. <laughs> what is he doing? That's pretty fucked up. Yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, it's real fucked yeah, up. It is. Like so much so they're going to make a movie about it. Exactly. See John DiMaggio. R- really, really quick. Really quick. How quick? That's real quick. <laughs> Shit, I'm going to right back around. Unbelievable. Um, oh so, God. Hulk, you're playing... I'm uh, Colossus and uh, a couple other bad guys and... Um, you know, there's uh, we're doing more uh, we're doing more Adventure Times very soon. So oh, that's this, that's, that's just rolling along really. Did you get really to nicely. meet Lou Ferrigno when he was on Adventure Times? Oh God! Times? <laughs> yes, I did. I've met Lou a couple of times. Wait, wait, what? I met Lou a couple of times. <laughs> um, Who can say that? It's he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. It's just strange because he's he's recorded like they've he's done voiceover for the show. Uh, yeah. And it's just like you know, it's it's a guy who has you know, it's it's weird in the studio when he's in there because when he's getting direction to do stuff, it's really. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. It's just a funny feeling in your let stomach. Let his jizz flow. Let, you know what? He's trying to let his jizz flow, and it's just <laughs> yeah, that shit is dribbling. See, you it's just, it. It, that shit is dribbling, money. That you shit can is barely dribbling. Hear it touch the ground. Yeah, yeah. Is he actually deaf? I think he has like eighty percent hearing loss, or he's something like that. He's not like Marley that. Matlin, full deaf. Yeah, no, he's he's got a little bit of hearing. He's got a, a but I'll tell you this story, and it's going to get to him, and I'm going to get my ass kicked the next time I see him. But me, can I tell the listener something? Yes, ain't a man alive that I would go. That guy's going to fuck John DiMaggio up. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Even going the to, Hulk. No sweat. <laughs> I got you going deep. I got, no, I, you got me look going at me. deep. All you right, and I have good. been friends over yeah. over twenty years. Yes, it's true. Well, well over twenty years. Yeah. My hand, both my hands up to God. I got you going into the deep waters and every single fuck. <laughs> if you're going championship rounds, I don't give a fuck if it's the Hulk. I don't care if it's Forrest All Whitaker. Right, okay. If you put your hands on somebody, it's over. Yeah. You're, 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 you're a mountain. You'll just get a guy in headlock. So, so the, 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 <laughs> you got you got you got what I need. What oh. We didn't do any um, metal people doing just blow. Huh? You gotta let the jizz blow. <laughs> Ace of spades. Let the jizz blow. You gotta let the jizz flow. Come on. Oh. You gotta let the jizz flow. <laughs> Come on. I want you to let it flow. <laughs> um, this is my guitar. I don't want a condom. I don't want a condom. I let my jizz flow. Come on. <laughs> Um, be there. So we were at this session, and he was there. Lou Ferrigno's there, and he comes in to record. And you know, he's got a couple lines. He plays this this character named Billy. And so on Adventure Time, on Adventure Time, he plays this character named Billy. And they they brought him in because they wanted to meet him. Like that's how he got the job. They were like, "Yeah, we'll cast Lou Ferrigno, sure." So he so he goes in and he he does his thing. I've seen him do this before. But then when the director at the time in the booth was trying to get Lou to sing a line <laughs> and it's like dude the guy can't can't hear a so- like a song like a melody like you can't like try- that's like trying to tell a deaf person I mean trying to ask a blind person what red looks like it's like you can't Marley Matlin won an Oscar she can't I know but she can't it. sing oh um so they're trying to get him to sing like <laughs> Billy! Like, they're trying to get him to do that. <laughs> and, it, and he's just, I mean, Billy. I'm sorry. You know, he's like, Billy! <laughs> Billy! And I'm sitting there trying to keep my shit together like, oh, God, please st- stop making him do this. This poor man is just fucking, and he's doing his best. And it's not like, but like, he can't, he can't identify <laughs> pitch. And like, that kind of thing. Like, he, like, it's just, I'm just, I'm sitting there going, oh, God, please don't make him do this. I like how you say he can't identify pitch. Like pitch is in a police lineup. No, no. <laughs> Bring him in. Everybody just hold up your numbers. I think that's pitch. I can't believe I just told the Billy story. I'm, I'm so I hope. Oh God. I don't I don't want that to happen. Billy! Billy! <laughs> it was 
was just like, oh, God, God damage, help me. Matter. I'm sorry, everybody. Please don't pass that around so it gets around the fucking Lou Ferrigno. Uh, Christ. Is he on Twitter? Let's hit him up. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no, no. We'll put it on that other guy. Barry! Barry! <laughs> Fuck. The neighbors think we're filming a snuff film. <laughs> oh. So what else is new? So, hey, so, yes, um, so mm. uh, the movie, mm-hmm. uh, I Know That Voice. Yeah. Um, we're, we are. It, what's we are, happening here? Just, you okay? I'm just rubbing my hand. I'm just <laughs> freaking <laughs> out. <laughs> um, it's, uh, John's I'm, scratching his pits till he really, bleeds. Do you want a water I, or no, something? I just, did, I just had a double espresso. I'm like, <laughs> um, no, the movie, I Know That Voice, uh, is coming out very soon. Good. We will have, we will have an announcement very soon. Of exactly when it's coming out, um, I think what we're going to do is try and uh, we're just going to try and get it, you know, uh, get our VOD stuff together. But uh, on a little video on demand, yeah, well, yeah, you know, like you know, so we can put it on you know, video on demand and, and try and get it on iTunes as soon as possible. And is that I know that voice dot com? I know that voice dot com. Uh, we have a Facebook page. I know that voice. Um, you can follow me on Twitter uh, at the John DiMaggio, and you can you know check updates, but. Um, it's, it's very soon and, uh, I'm really excited about it because, uh, I had to, you should be. Yeah. I'm, yeah I mean, and we don't have distribution yet. I'm just, we're just going to do it. We're just going to so, just do it. You know, you like that. Um, What's his name? Dr. Zoidberg. I got Dr. Zoidberg. Zoidberg. I got a Dr. Zoidberg keychain. I was watching, um, I and Dr. I want to get Zoidberg. back to another Zoidberg. voice. Uh, some kid when they were doing like, uh, stunts on their skateboards, yeah. some kid just smash his face all up and down these steps. And they took him to the hospital, and he goes, I just saw it for like a second in the window of the uh, ambulance. And I'm like, I look like Dr. Zoiberg. Oh. And that's exactly what he looked like. Just, just, just. Gotta let my gas come. Oh, oh, that was like a that's, a, oh, that's, horrible. that's horrible. It's that gonna that's going to stink. That's going to stink. Look at a fucking Coke Zero and Cholula hot sauce in front of me. <laughs> what are you fucking Pe- making shots of that shit? People 10 feet on the ground right now are going, what was that vibration? <laughs> Look like at actual carpet bomb. Christ. Oh, that really is. Crazy. Yeah, it's awful. It's when awful. When Johnny got here, we're children. I know. When Johnny got here, I said, I have to fart. I'm going to pull my pants down and fart on this exercise ball to see if it echoes inside the ball. And it sounded like this. And, and, and you remember what Matty, the real hey, the real hey Matty, at the real hey Matty, yes, you remember sir. what he said? Yeah. That was wet, dude. Was, I'm like, I wouldn't know. I would have jumped up and ran in the house. Not necessarily. You think, you think, you think some guys shit themselves and play it cool? Well, I, like the, what? The opposite. Sometimes I fart and it's so it comes out warm, and I think I shit myself, oh. but I did it. That, he does it a lot. Warm ha- farts. Little, hot fart. Yeah, hot fart. Get a hot fart hot working. Fart. Celebrity hot fart. We'll be back. Celebrity hot fart. <laughs> we have the two black guys. And I get a celebrity <laughs> hot fart. Uh-huh. Hey, let me tell you right now. I'm doing this right now. <laughs> Uh, hey, let me tell you something. We'll be right back with American Hot Fart. <laughs> Why, American? American? What the hell? Huh? Amer- <laughs> Wait, we, we, we were right back with more of America's favorite Hot Fart right after this message. <laughs> I don't see no cold fart. Hey, man, you ever had a cold fart? Hey. Cold fart hurts <laughs> like a mother. <laughs> Even in the wintertime. Hey, hey, I remember the first time I had a cold fart. <laughs> It was after eating a whole shitload of ice cream. That motherfucker was hurt. You lying. You lying. Hey, man, you that lying. came out like a hard you, bubble. Huh? It, was, it came out like a hard bubble. It was I like, can't what? Huh? It came out like a hard bubble. A hard bubble? Hard bubble. A hard came, bubble. Hey, man, when like it came crack. out, it was like, whap. It just, it just, it, it just whap. It just, so you lying, man. Hey, hey man. It, hey, man. man. My, ass, my ass, cheeks, my ass cheeks flapped one time. So I pow. Just I want to hear about your ass cheeks, man. That's nasty. Hey, you nasty. man. You nasty. Hey, man. That's all I'm telling you. Just cold fart. Cold fart is bad. Cold what fart. if you live in Minnesota? Hey, man. Alaska. That's the hey. You, you want? No, you, hey, if you live in Minnesota, you want a hot fart. That should keep you warm racing in the winter. Wisconsin, huh? I said Racine, Wisconsin. Racine? Hey, Racine? I, hey, man, I got a cousin in Racine. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Huh? Hey. Huh? What's that now? Huh? Say, well, oh, okay. Huh? Oh, okay. You, yeah. right? Yeah. That's what I'm All saying. Right. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Gotta let the jazz flow. <laughs> gotta let the jazz flow. <laughs> Let's let the band out. Hey, man. gotta let the jazz flow. Yeah. Gotta let the jazz flow. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, uh, people! Imagine, imagine if, imagine if when you came, it sounded like this. 
<laughs> I think about that all the time. It just it, or, or or if when you came, you were like, ah! whoop! If <laughs> it made that noise, kung fu sound, kung fu noise, <laughs> yeah. The old nunchuck sound that was horrible. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't your best <laughs> for man to sound. One. That for, wasn't my best one. Um, listen. So. Yes. There's an Amazon link at jmore.com. Mm-hmm. Dear JG, my cousin Mike is having his bachelor party in Vegas, and since I'm married, I decided to wear the worst possible outfit imaginable. Oh, this person's a panic. Uh-oh. Um, so the ladies don't get any ideas. Who am I kidding? I should have just bought a helmet. You know what I mean? Get a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I clicked your link and I bought the same outfit worn by Zach Galifianakis in The Hangover. Oh, uh, tell those schmucks, uh, Maddie boy, that I really wished I could have seen you destroy Rick Fox in Diamond Push-ups. Uh, maybe when oh. you have Rick Fox on again, uh, when you feel like doing the heavy lifting in your podcast. God bless, George Deering. George. Wow. We love George, you, George. You're a cut up. You're you're a Look, you're and there's photos. Hi. Look, it's a wolf shirt. That's great. Take a shot at me. It's That's so it. not cool though. Uh by the way, we're not imitating a homosexual oh. men. These are girl comics from Minnesota. Back me up, please. Yeah, that's just what Back we're talking about. A guy about. with a wolf shirt? I'm sorry. That's Back. that's crazy. Back me up, right. ladies. That's crazy. Back me up. I a saw, some, I saw someone walking around in the Mall of America with a wolf shirt. I was I'd trying, rather him I have a live ridiculous. wolf around his body a like a one. stole. Absolute, oh, Absolutely. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I agree with that. As a stole? As a stole? A stole. A stole? Stole. <laughs> Gotta let the jizz. I can't. We gotta stop. It's, fucking, it's I, a hit, man. I gotta it's let the crazy, jizz flow. It's a hit, right? It is a, it is a crazy hit. hook. Let my jizz flow. His it's, other song was Tom Brady. What you doing a to me, motherfucker? Tom Brady. What you doing to me? <laughs> Tom Brady. I'm Morgan Freeman to tell you about Matty Boy's <clears throat> song about Tom Brady. I do a pretty killer Morgan Freeman. Well, I like to hear about it, pothead. <laughs> that was that was that was Morgan Freeman doing Behringer from Platoon. Well. I... <laughs> Well, I'd like to hear about it, potheads. By the way, if you ever wanted to know what it was like when me Andy and Johnny Dufresne. sat around and smoked a ton of pot, it was exactly this. Yes. <laughs> Andy Dufresne. Either get busy living or get busy dying. You're goddamn right. That day was the day I broke parole for a second time. I that got mentioned. on that bus. Andy Dufresne <laughs> climbed through 500 yards of shit-smelling stank. <laughs> This this <laughs> penguin is about to be whale shit. Go the fuck to sleep. Go the fuck to sleep. Uh, yes. I know that voice dot com. Make sure you guys go com. here. Go. What are you scratching like you're on fucking <laughs> pills? I'm on heroin or something? Jesus Christ! Just Jamie Foxx and Ray bouncing out of my <laughs> fucking <laughs> seat here. Why did you bring your tablet in and set it up? <laughs> Sit in front of me. I'm like an asshole. He goes, Let me go get my tablet. Just, just to have it. Uh, but do me no, a favor. I'm tweet something right now. <clears throat> okay, honey. I'm tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> asshole. You're an asshole. You're a total you asshole. You know what? At least I'm not an asshole. You know what? You're a total asshole. At least I'm not a total asshole. You're fucking. I swear to God. I'm waiting for this to boot up. This is bullshit. Do you have Wi-Fi? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a... <laughs> fucking. Oh. So <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. How, how many times in your life have you farted into the phone to the other person? Oh, God. A thousand? A now, thousand. M- and you just smelled the microphone, yeah, well, you that's, nasty which, motherfucker. Which brings me to my point. It wasn't until 980 where I realized I'm putting it back up to my face. <laughs> <laughs> and then you kept doing it 20 more times. Yeah, well, and I just did it again. I farted oh, into the mic. Shit. One of the comments on uh, iTunes, like, if you like asshole, if you got, if you like guys acting like assholes to each other and farting into the mics, this is the podcast for you. I'll pass one star. <laughs> Somebody actually left a comment, like, episode two, I farted into the mic. We're really? just having a good time. Straight away. <laughs> We're just having a good time. We're not allowed to have fun. Come on, man. Got to let the butt breathe. Um, (laughs) Is Clancy Brown... (laughs) Clancy Brown? (laughs) Listen, Boner Nose. Is Clancy Brown 
A in... nice guy. Really cool guy. No, actually. is he in the movie? Yes, he is in the movie. Clancy Brown is in the movie. Tom Kenny's in the movie. June Ferre is in the movie. Maurice LaMarche is in the movie. No Bill one knows who some movie. of these people are, so slow it down. Okay. Well, here we go. Tom Kenny, SpongeBob SquarePants. June Ferre, Rocky the Flying Squirrel. She's in her, She's 90, I think, for crying out loud. Maurice LaMarche, she's two-time Emmy, uh, Emmy winner for... Uh, Calculon and 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 uh, Morbo and all Need those more characters. Need <laughs> um, He was also uh, the brain on Pinky and the Brain. Those are my keys. Um, got Billy West, Ren and Stimpy, Futurama. He's everybody in Futurama. Um, gosh, who else? Uh, uh, Tara Strong. She's a, like one of the Powerpuff Girls. She's the she's the main My Little Pony chick. She's an all sort of pony. Pony. Ryan Sickler was uh, um, opening for Asia Tyler in Baltimore. Yeah, and he texted me a photo. It was a, there was a Brony convention. Brony, no, I, it was like you know, this I've weekend. I've been to a Brony convention in, outside of Cleveland. I made a I made a bunch of money. I had fun. I fucking signed autographs and shit. Do you do Brony voices? No, but they were coming over with like like Brony like. My Little Pony, like Futurama. You're like, no, bro, I'm niblet. You get the wrong species. But they would come over and sign, ask for that. It's crazy, dude. It's so much fun at these conventions. Do you go to Comic Con? I, yeah, I just was there. It was, I mean, we had a, I know that voice panel, and there was like 2,000 plus people. It was oh, yeah. Awesome. It was great. People came out of the woodwork. Do you for make us. any cheese out of that? No, no. Nothing you wanted to declare? No, 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 no. no. Well, no, not for a panel. Not for a panel. It seems like <clears throat> I'm obviously wrong, but Comic Con used to be you had to be in comics and had something to do with it. Like Stan Lee would show up with the cast of something, and now it's just like Mike Tyson just rolls through and has an autograph booth. And I'm like, they're ruining Comic Con, you know but I'm wrong. It's, every year it's better. It's, every year it gets bigger, and every year they're they're just there's just more stuff from other genres that are there. It's mostly like just an entertainment. Mecca. I mean, like every movie is going, like every big blockbuster movie is going down there, as well as every little, you know, do it yourself movie. People are trying to get things, you know, people trying to get deals. It's, it's a big, big industry down there. When, Did you? Because I, ho- I host BlizzCon, and I know how big that is. So I can't imagine <clears throat> it, it. It has to be bigger than well. BlizzCon sells out the Anaheim Convention Center, ten thousand people. Yeah. So no, San Diego Comic Con has one hundred fifty thousand plus. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's nuts. I'm going to Dragon Con in Atlanta <laughs> at the end of. Uh, Gotta let of, the fire flow. Gotta let the fire flow. Um, <laughs> I'm going to Dragon Con. Uh, Labor Day weekend, and uh, the there's seventy five thousand plus. People you said there. that like it was a Jets game. Like what the Dragon fuck is Dragon? Go to Dragon Con, and then uh, ah, oh, welcome yeah, to Dragon Con. Con. We're here at a big game. Hey, today. I'm Iron Eagle at Dragon oh, Con. Con. I sound like Harry Carey. Yeah, the Dragon. So, funny. hey everybody, if you go to Dragon Con. You can drink a lot of beer and walk around in a costume and stick up the place. Bring seltzer water to spray in the dragon's mouth in case he wants to ignite you when flames ball one to Mark Grace. Or if you like a scotch and soda, you can carry around your own seltzer and your own scotch. I don't drink Dress anymore. Dress up like Superman. You're crazy. I don't drink anymore. Just beer. Cubbies win. <laughs> High fly ball. Oh, hey, everybody. Hideki Ramu. <laughs> what, what was that joke? The, uh, the, uh, and it's popped up to Jose Vizcaino. And it dropped the ball. Here's a guy. Here's a, here's yeah. a guy from the Dominican Republic that loses the ball in the sun. The sun shines there all the time. Out all the time. I don't get it. Yeah. That really happened. Yeah, I know. I don't get it. It's crazy. It's like Will Farrell is, I think, responsible for for, for us being able to get laughs yeah. right now doing an impression of a guy that's been dead fifteen years. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, well, I used to do a guy named Hilly Burford on the uh, Back to the Barnyard, that that's that TV spinoff of the movie, and and I did a he was the re- news reporter. <laughs> Hi, Hilly Burford, and it was it was just me doing Harry Carey, and it was ridiculous. It was, I mean, you know. And it worked. It you know. Don't you want your sport? Or what's Dragon Con? What like Dragon Con? It's like it's like Comic Con. They do you know? It's a anime, sci fi, um, you know, comic books, uh, cartoons. Uh, Why do they every- call it Dragon Con? Is it Dragon? Because theme? when? Because when? No, because when they created it tw- twenty five thirty years twenty five thirty years ago, they thought dragons were cool, and, and they had to keep the name. I go, Daddy. Can fucking tighten that up. I thought for sure uh, you were gonna be all over the Ricky Steamboat reference. 
I know. Yeah, Ricky Steamboat. Sure, absolutely. Jimmy Superfly Snu- Snooker. Ricky the, the Dragon there? Steamboat. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So you go to Dragon Con. The, the, so it's Dragon not- Con. <laughs> Come on, Dragon. Come on, Dragons. <laughs> How does he fly like that? <laughs> He's got such a big body and little wings. Is that Eric Stoltz? <laughs> little no. wings, puff the magic. Well, <laughs> she's walking through the clouds <laughs> on a little wing. On a little wing. On the wings of love. I <laughs> <laughs> do it. Jet. Woo 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 woo. It's the name of the band. Wings. Jet! Woo woo! <laughs> Why Jet? <laughs> Why did you change boom, wings boom, to Jet? Because <laughs> it was Wings. Wings does the song. You fucked up. Wings. I totally did. You tried I totally to did. Do wings? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, Jet! Woo woo woo! It's Wings. Jet! Woo woo! I was, come on. I was a fucking, oh it was a purpose. It was, I purposely went there. No, be honest. Be honest, yeah, I totally went you did there. The jet on purpose. Yeah, the jet on purpose. <laughs> Why would you get jet? Because it's a song by Wings. You're doing on the wings of love. I'm like fuck Wings. It. I'm going off the deep end. Oh, I went the name off the, the deep end. Oh, it's the name of the band is Wings. That's why I, I know cut. that. I now thought. we're analyzing comedy. Whoop, whoop. Ow. I will admit my mistake. I didn't mean to hit you that hard in the last one. Sorry. That's okay. I I'll admit my mistakes. I for a second, because I'm like, I feel like somebody just fed me mushrooms as you came up the driveway, and I'm they're like, I'm in that manic stage of laughter. Mm-hmm. I thought Wings had a song Wings, and I thought um, you fucked up mm-mm. Wings, and we were going. Oh. I thought you were supposed to go Wings, yeah. <laughs> and then I got crazy because you were like Jet. I'm like, what an idiot! What an idiot. Turns out I'm the Wings. idiot. Wow, that's all right. Paul McCartney started a band called Wings. <laughs> After the success of their first album, they should have called them blank. <laughs> don't, don't, now they bring Match Game back. Johnny DiMaggio, A or B? I'm going to go with B. B. All right. And then he like falls up the step. Whoa, <laughs> hey. With that long, freaky <laughs> microphone. <laughs> yeah, long, skinny like, mic. <laughs> fucking the proctologist's Ray Ray. microphone. Uh, all right. He put it in her blank. Wow, wow. Boom, 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 wow, May. wow. Was very itchy. In fact, she was so itchy, she had a hard time in the morning putting on her blank. Mm, she got the fucking douchebag celebrities think, <laughs> thinking <laughs> like they're taking, their, the they're taking their PSATs. Charles Nelson Riley's just like, yeah. mm-hmm. what am I going to put down? I've got to get a laugh. But they're thinking JP like, Morgan. Remember that? Remember her? foot is the shoe, <laughs> like hand is the, like, hmm. Thought bubbles of rejected <laughs> ideas. <laughs> no. A <laughs> candle wouldn't be itchy. That's absurd. <laughs> mm. Britt Summers. <laughs> <laughs> what, would it, what would it be today? Nipsey Russell. Let's go to Lou Ferrigno. What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta let my dad fall! How about Matty holds a mic? He's between his knees the whole fucking show. <laughs> what a jerk. My arm will get tired. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just tweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, go to jmore.com, click the Amazon <laughs> banner, please. Uh, that's the only way we're making money right now. Uh, hey, JJ, just ordered, did another order on the Amazon link at jmore.com. I got a Samsung. Chromebook to replace my laptop. Great price. Glad to help out the podcast. I really liked hearing you talk with Jonathan Lipnicki about making Jerry Maguire. It's one of my favorite movies. Thanks again for the hours of entertainment. How is that? Chris, good. Doing like awesome. He's uh, Chris Pauly. Thank you, Chris Pauly. Right again. He's like a jujitsu guy. <clears throat> he's like, really? wait. And he's in uh, The Bering Sea Beast that's coming out. The people that brought you Sharknado. Oh, great. And I'm like, oh, there's nothing funny about this, people. We're getting after it. We're hashtagging it. We're going to live tweet during Bering oh, Sea Beast, but it's not out till like the fall. He's a good kid. Good, good. And I was like, oh, it's so sweet. I guess he's c- scratching together a living. And he pulls out in like a fucking 18 wide, foot wide Porsche. Really? He just good berms up the goddamn street. Yep. Good for him. All that- just take it easy on the, on the speeding up the street. Yeah, Bieber. Jesus Christ. Uh, did you send out the tweet, sweetheart? Yes, I did. I sent it to you. I love you, JJ. Um, did you guys do Kickstarter for I Know That Voice? No, I spent all my money. No, I'm kidding. I, no, but didn't. I paid for it. I didn't spend all my money, but I paid for it. I paid for it. So. What do you mean? 
I paid for it. I paid for the movie. I paid for the movie. That's never get high off your own supply. You broke the number one. I know I broke the number one rule, but rules are made to be broken, and I'm oh! gonna fucking take it like that. No records. Records are made to be broken. Uh, whatever. Emmett Smith was like, I don't think so, baby. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's how he talks. No. Maybe Mrs. Smith. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, going to be I, at I, uh, I, uh, Stand Up Live. Well, you got to do stand, stand up. What, stand up what? Oh, I got to do stand up again? You don't have to. You do a damn thing. You don't feel like it. But you're just so damn funny that if you just went on stage and goofed up, I think you'd be... Well, can I, can, if I put together an act, can I, can I open up for you on the road? You don't have to put together an act to open for me on the road. What the fuck am I going to do then? Talking about the wow, wow. You just get a cordless mic, go through the crowd, and go, anyway... <laughs> <laughs> look at and this just guy. Do, 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 do rickles for crying out loud? Uh, you know, gang, look at the Mexican. He's going to lay on you, lady. <laughs> uh, the Mexican's going to lay on me? Me and Gary Goldman, talk about breaking down comedy. Oh, Gary Goldman, <coughs> how's me he and, doing? Great. Me and Monty broke that down. Uh, uh, I call him Monty. We broke down Hello Dummy by Don Rickles. Like, like it was a record. class. I love that record. It's 30 minutes long. It's your first comedy album, and it's all crowd work. Yeah, it's all, all crowd work. So, and and you would think like, oh, that's absurd. But what me and Gary were talking about is it's amazing for like a young comic because you got to lay there like high with headphones on, laying in bed, <laughs> and you have to picture the audience. Like, yeah, hey, oh, look at this. I never entertained a Mountie before. <laughs> Hello, Mountie. Hello, Mountie. <laughs> Look at the black guy. I ain't black. I'm a Hawaiian. And this surfboard ain't running right. You're like, what? Like a black this guy. This mother surfboard ain't This running. mother, yeah, this mother surfboard ain't running right. Oh, yeah. Th- absolutely. That, and, th- oh, my God. You're so right. I never even thought about it that like that. That is, and that's brilliant. We, yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's funny. My, my girlfriend's telling me, she's been like saying, you need to get back up on stage. And I don't know. I, I just, it's just such a, I don't know, it's just. It's a pain in the ass. It's Stand a, up? Yeah, it's a pain in the Look, ass. I'll be at the Improv September 10th here in L.A. Really? Walk on stage. Okay. Or is it too freaky? Like, No, whoa, I'll do it. Your whole life. like you got, Do you have to like do a whole... The 10th of September? If I'm, it, you know what? <clears throat> I'll come back. I come, I'm, I'm on vacation until uh-huh. the 9th. Uh-huh. And I will come back. Where to, you going on vacation, man? Hey, man. Uh-huh. Hey, man. I'm going to the. Uh-huh. I, I'm going to Hawaii. Say what now? Hey, man. I'm going to get bit by a shark. Hawaii. That's the truth. You get bit by a shark, right? Hey, now. man. Hey, let me tell you something. You go to Hawaii, you gonna get bit by a shark. That's the what truth. You go to San Jose, man. Hey, man. San Jose. Hey, shark. San, Jose San Jose shark. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. You know hey, how they gonna do the West Conference this year? They gonna do fine. They gonna do okay. Huh? What? Huh? Huh? They gonna make the playoffs? San Jose Sharks. San Jose Sharks. Yeah, the eight seed. Man. Hey, man, they gonna make it in the bottom, but they gonna get in there. That's they all gonna you gotta get do. In and they gonna make some noise. Hey, the they gonna hey they, gonna hey they gonna bring all the noise. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, they the San Jose Sharks. Yeah, the Sharks gonna make no noise. You crazy? You fool the damn fool. Talking about the wild, wild. Talking about the sharks. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> this is me. You got to go back 22 years. Me and John DiMaggio sit on my goddamn couch at St. Mark's place. This is it. Mm. San Jose Sharks. I'm going to play with the Blackhawks. Here comes Sergey coming down Sergey late. <laughs> I remember our songs we would sing playing oh, NHL. Jeez. Here comes you know Sergey. You know what's funny? Sergey Fedorov was I... nuts. You put him right down the middle. Yeah. Nobody... <laughs> Here comes Sergey coming down Sergey Lane. It was <laughs> NHL 99. Yeah, that's right. Oh, God. We used to play Here it all the time. Here comes Sergey coming down <laughs> Sergey Lane. And then they put that scene in Swingers and we're like, you fucking hack. Yeah, that's yeah, our yeah. life. Yeah. No, 94. It was like, no, it was 94. 94 it was in 90, your record yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, 94. Mm, Pete Rockets, Seal, Smooth. Oh, shit. Like that song? Yeah. Let me tell you about Pete Rockets. Hey. Uh, Pete Rockets, Seal, Smooth. That's a joint right there. They, hey, they yeah, do that. Uh, they do all that stuff. Uh, uh, you have, have you, can I ask you a question? Huh? Do you have your prescription? I got my prescription. Oh, okay. Uh, that's all I need. So now I want to make sure I got your prescription with mine. You've been doing Kenny Chesney concert. Huh? Yeah. It's black folks. That's what I said. Wide receiver, hey, Jerry Macklin. Hey, man. Corel Buckholz. Uh-huh. Yeah, Donovan McNabb was over the routine. Oh, yeah. word. Yeah, he did some comedy show. Huh? Uh, I said, Donovan McNabb. Huh? Yeah. Number, number five. Oh, number five. Did some jokes. And hey, he done retired, huh? For, well, he retired from football. He but, cry, did he cry? He oh, cried. No, oh, Donovan. Oh, shit. Oh, that. I'm sorry. That's Syracuse Orange, baby. Don't go there with oh, me because oh, I'm oh, a oh, Big East girl from way back. Oh, oh, stop. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. He beat the shit out of Rockers. 
Cincinnati. I don't care about no Rutgers. Nobody care about no Rutgers. They got to swear to me. They're crazy in Rutgers. Two black ladies talking college football. Oh, my God. What Did you we... know about Johnny Manziel? I... Man can't sign an autograph he, he better stop doing that. I he better stop cute. doing that. I'm God. telling him. I'm I... telling him. Next time I see him, I'm going to smack his hand. Why? Why can't he sign his own name? Isn't it a shame, though? Boy ain't forging checks, that... doing nothing some, wrong. Some, some, some student can make some money doing a side job. He can't do a side job. Why can't that be his job? He can't do that thing. You got a new That's part. crazy. Give him one of those That's now. crazy. Oh, what's going to happen in the SEC? I like, I like Johnny Manziel. New hair look like Fred mm. Wynn. At the SEC is difficult because there's so many good teams. Huh? There's so many good teams. There's only one good team. Which one? Which one is the good team? Huh, you pick it. I'm not picking it. I'll take Alabama for the win, baby. Hey, Chris and Tide. Roll Tide. They call, they call Alabama Roll. Chris and Tide. Come on, Tide. Hey, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. I love that Tide. Right. Oh, I got to fix my laundry. Oh, girl. Mm, you got change? I'm going to get my stuff a gin and tonic do laundry. Mm. Mm-hmm. But you got the house coat. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking adult. Crazy. Uh, when will Colette return to Futurama? Colette? Never. What? This is no, from, well, no, I, I mean, tweeted, like, got a question for John the Magic. Theodore underscore good, because Theodore or good was taken. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> Don't make a big deal out of it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna be Theodore Good, but somebody cyber squatted. <laughs> cyber squat. Yes, I have one. When will Co- she put Colette? Coilette. It's Coilette. It's Bender. It's Bender mm. when he had the sex change. Why won't you know? No, why won't Coilette ever return because to Futurama? Because the show's not on no more. There you have it. Uh, uh, Pierce Marble. Hi, Pierce. Wants to know why aren't you on uh, Jay Moore Sports every week? Why aren't you calling into my radio show every week? You can. Uh, all right, I I'll will. Set it, I'll give you your own day. Really? Yeah. Okay. I have before. Uh, Daryl Wright calls every Wednesday to break down NASCAR. Adam Carroll is every Friday. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to break down. Jesus. Break it down. Hey, man, I'm going to break it down. Barry White breaks down the sports. This is what happens. Uh, mailman Stevio wants to know, how often do you rub one out? Really? Yeah, that's how these are the people. You know what? He gets blocked right now. Watch this. You know what? You don't ask my friends that. How many times? I, I do. I, I want to know. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Talking about the wow. I'm talking wow. about the rub out. <laughs> rub out. You gotta let the jizz spill. Gotta let the jizz spill. I don't know why. Rub out. <laughs> Rubbing it out with the jizz spill. <laughs> Put down some tarp. Oh, Jesus. Where's the beach Cause the tower? blood's gonna flow when I slit you in the air with my pirate knife. I'm gonna work your hatchet wound. <laughs> <laughs> The devil's, the devil's Zone tweets, what was it like to bang Marilyn Monroe? Hashtag, era, taste like JFK. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? It's because Joe DiMaggio used to, was married to Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I didn't even put it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I ever tell you about Megan Fox, Marilyn Monroe tattoo story? No. All right. So uh, I'm flying Megan Fox cross country in a hot air balloon, right? Just bear with me. Okay. That part I made up. Uh-huh. I'm doing a pilot with Brian Austin Green, and they're a couple, right? Okay, yeah. And she's got a giant Marilyn Monroe tattoo on her forearm. You ever seen it? Mm-mm. It's amazing. Really? It's like that perfect Warhol one on the inside oh, wow. of the forearm, right? Oh, wow. And I go, hey, nice to meet you. And he goes, hey, this is my girl, Megan. And I go, hey, it's pretty right before she was like nuts famous. Yeah. And I go, hey, nice to, oh, my God, Marilyn on your right forearm? Are you fucking kidding me? She goes, no, why? I go, I was wearing a suit. I go, you're not going to believe this. She goes, what? I go, I have Joe DiMaggio on my left forearm. And she looked me in my eye, and she goes, who's Joe DiMaggio? Oh. Not so hot anymore. <laughs> Don't let the jizz go. <laughs> <laughs> we got to make it. Got to eat some brain food. Better I have some fish, girl. <laughs> have some fish oil. Have some fish shells. Omega three. Omega three for your brain, girl. I can't. You got to have some smarts in your head. Who's got money on? Oh my God! Really? Only the guy that put flowers on a grave every day till the day he died. That bumped you out. Yeah, it did. Thanks uh, how for bringing Marilyn, down the room. How is Marilyn Monroe? This? Everyone's asking you about Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> hey! Uh, Your dog is cute. If somebody wants to know, is that Eric? <laughs> <laughs> Zombies come. This is from the Zombies great. Zombies come. Listen. This is- <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, 
the jizz flow. Let the jizz flow. I think we got off the original tune. Wow. No, we we're didn't. doing no, cause yeah, we're doing talking about the wah wah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. What's the OG? Hold on, you got to look it up. It's your song. <laughs> I made it up on the fly. It's like Mick Jagger reading know. "Start Me Up" Cheers. off the teleprompter. Jizz flow. I don't wear a condom because I gotta let my jizz flow. That's the better. I gotta let my jizz flow. Yeah, gotta let the jizz flow. <laughs> gotta let the jizz flow. Great Blue Dini writes. <laughs> I know. Sorry. <laughs> Zombies come. Who are the first three you're taking out, whether they turned yet or not? <laughs> oh, wow. Really? That's a weird question. Did you just choke on your own spit? <laughs> that wasn't spit. <laughs> uh, that wasn't spit. <laughs> Who's Who, the first three people I'd take out? What a weird oh, question. That's a weird question. Bludini. Wow. I don't know. I wouldn't. If there was an Aquaman anyway. movie, would you consider playing him? What, a live-action Aquaman movie? No, a fucking uh, slideshow at the MoMA. No, nah, I wouldn't play Aquaman. I, why would I play Aquaman? I'm money? Fucking... Money? All right, then. Well, yeah, well, sure, oh, if I got to... Hold I gotta... on a second. We're on to something. Huh? Aquaman. Oh, huh? Hey. Hey, man, you play Aquaman? No. I play... Hey, man, I play Aquaman. You got to get me to the gym, sucker. <laughs> hey, man, I got to be swimming. You got to teach me how to swim. Shit, I ain't swimming in years. Oh, I ain't swimming Hey, man, they got to get me going underwater. I had that thing on my pinch nose and be riding around with a motherfucking clothes pin. You can't, have, you can't be playing Aquaman with a clothes pin on your face. Your t-shirt hey, off. man, shit, I got to take my T-shirt off. Everybody see my titties. I like shit. your titties. Hey, nice. man, you better watch let me, yourself. Let me feel your titties, man. Hey, man, you better get off my titties, Let me feel that titties. Hey, hey, get off my titties. I'm not fucking around. I got to All right, all right, all right. Oh. All right. Oh. All right, okay. Huh? Gotta let my jizz flow. Huh? <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's fucking horrible. That's horrible. Sorry. Uh, right to Owenstein. Who would you rather bang, Amy or Leela? Um, you know, <laughs> Amy. Amy, sure, why not? Because she's a slut. Uh, you seem, I think you're a really good uh, actor, and I don't see any reason why you couldn't do like, t- remember when Carlin was in Prince of Tides, George Carlin played the gay neighbor, and he only yes. had like two or three scenes, Yes, and you were like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, y- that's in you, easily. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll get the opportunity. I mean, it's, you know, it's no. not like I don't, I don't, no, no? you no. don't think I'll get the opportunity to no. fucking do something? Gotta what, what? let the jizz flow. <laughs> so I, I have. To, so what you're saying is, I have to control my own destiny and really, uh, like, sort of seek that out. Is that what you're saying? No, I joined to break your jobs. That's ball. That's ball busting. Uh, I mean, I got it in me. I mean, I audition for things. It's not like you know. I mean, I just did a fucking newsroom. I was just really? on the, yeah. I was just on the newsroom. I did a scene with Jeff Daniels. It was great. I mean, it was, you got to jump through hoops to get into the I newsroom. Fucking, I got a, how many auditions? A, just two. Two. With Sorkin and both. Yeah, with Sorkin and with and Sorkin you can't and the second change one. A syllable. Not a word. It was the most it was the scariest fucking job. And I had one Sorkin line and he had like six in a row. It was a he put on a clinic. What let me tell you something about Jeff Daniels. Unbelievable. Dude, the guy from the Kings game. Hey, let me tell you something about Jeff Daniels, okay? Here we go. That's All right. Not the that's guy. not him. That's a different dude. That's a different dude. Let me tell you something that? about that. That's guy. like a higher pitch. That's like a higher pitch Tracy Morgan. Hey, hey let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you, you know what you do? You gotta just do Richard Pryor doing the wino talking to Dragon. Hey man, man. Hey man, let me tell you something about this. This is him. Huh? Hey, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Daniels. Daniels. Jeff Daniels uh-huh. was a motherfucker. Hey man, there's a reason he was doing that arachnophobia. He's a good man. He went to shit. Hey man, you ready to spot him? He ain't afraid of them spiders. He was afraid of them spiders, but then he would learn how not to be afraid of them spiders. Which and leg? He, hey, man. He, which leg? Hey, man. He got, he got paid eight. Which leg? Huh? Which leg? Hey, man. Which leg? How many eight legs? Huh? Eight legs. Eight legs, man. How I many legs? I ain't nothing with no more. Hey, Jeff Daniels put on an acting clinic. Mm. That motherfucker is a bad motherfucker. Mm. Bad motherfucker. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know what your Daniels did? Huh? What? He let his jizz flow. What? He let his jizz flow. <laughs> Gotta let the jizz flow. That's really horrible. Sing no, it, but Jeff, da- Jeff Daniels was amazing, and he was so We're gonna fucking We're going to lose cool. 10,000 listeners, I hope. Why? Just because it's worth it for us to just beat the shit out of this song. Gotta let, Sing gotta it. Let, let Matty do it. So- he does it soulful. And then we're going to get back to Jeff Daniels. <laughs> okay. I don't wear... <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, fucking man. choke artist. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know what? That's why I'm we're on this side. Sorry. Hey, look. Big leagues. Look, hey, big look, leagues. Look, come that's on. Why we're, that's why we're on this side of the table. That's right. Ooh. That's right. That's, that's why you wear headphones. Yeah, that's why you got all them wires. Hey, let me tell you something right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. He got pregnant. Hey, man, I'm telling you right now, but I'm going to make this motherfucker pregnant right here. Eric I'm going to give Jeffrey, him a butt baby. Wes Welker is my biological father. <laughs> 
Obama is my cousin. Yeah. Hey, man. He in Sherman Oaks tonight. Party him. That's, no, he's, he's, he's over with in James Woodland Hills. Ray. He's in Woodland Hills. That's the hottest part of the valley. Or James Earl Jones? Huh? Huh? No nah, other nah. book can match it. <laughs> Maddie, sing a song, please. At the real Hey Maddie. You gotta let the jizz flow. How's it start? I don't wear a condom. I don't wear a condom because I gotta let my jizz flow. I gotta let my jizz spill. 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 I gotta let my jizz spill. My wife goes, You guys, it sounds like you're carrying blood for Jesus. Like, I put it in a bucket and you keep you it hear, with Yeah, you didn't yeah. hear that, that version. Though. And she goes, You gotta figure out a way to make it your seed. That makes seeds it spell. more disgusting. That is gross. Seeds. Plant spell. my seed in a hole in the ground when you're laying down. You Same rhymes that. I did at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> Pictures from medieval times. <laughs> really? That's us with some LARPer at medieval times. Look how look how good he looks in the photo, and I'm not kidding. Jesus. You been there? No. You got oh my yeah. god, Johnny at medieval times. Let's go, Red Knight. Come on, Red Knight. Joe, Ride harder. Everybody use your pointy sticks. I'm pointy not entertained sticks. yet. That's a big pointy stick. <laughs> that horse just in Tokyo Drift. <laughs> <laughs> horse is running sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Got a horsey ding dong. <laughs> Look at his big ding dong. Jesus. Oh, when you're at medieval times, which you've never been to. Me and, and let me tell you something right now about medieval times. Uh, it's, that this shit is crazy. It's like a real life Dungeons and Dragons game with chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm telling you right now, I'm the dungeon master. I go to medieval times all the time for one reason only. What's that reason? I like to eat with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> They don't bother with it. Hey, utensils can kiss my balls. Fork. Yeah. That's for real. All five of my balls, my <laughs> fork, knife, spork, spoon, because you got to put spork in the family now. Hey, let me tell you That's something. I got a cousin of... spork. Yeah. He from, he from Westchester. Who's he play for? Hey, man, I'm telling Westchester you right High? now. He played for Westchester High. Uh-huh. I'm telling you right now. Jay, now? Jay Moore is my uncle. Yeah. That's right. I got you pregnant, Massachusetts. Hey, man, let me tell you something right now. Mm. The Keystone State is on watch because I got my dick out. Yeah, everybody knows. Everybody knows right now, Pittsburgh. We're coming at you. Amani just pulled the camera around. (laughs) Medieval Times is the best place. We brought my two-year-old son there, right? And you would you would have thought we were just like doing rails of coke in the bathroom. We didn't act like we had a two-year-old with us. We were just like, you suck. You fucking suck. And the red knight pulls up and he just puts his horse's ass right in front of us and he points to it and points to Manny. <laughs> and it turns out the, we were in the black and white knight section, like Rick Foxish. <laughs> and then it turns out the red knight is like the best. Like he was impressive. And we're like, oh man, we fucking destroyed this guy. It's like heckling somebody at the ballpark and they just and make they a triple just, play yeah. and you're like, oh. Manny Machado, why was I all over him? He's great. <laughs> uh, and we, so we heckled the red knight. Our knight looked just like Tom Cruise. The MC looked like it's all on my Twitter. P- 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 uh, p- <laughs> <laughs> it's all on my Twitter page. My photos. You can see the MC looked just like Robert Plant. And oh I realized God. that night there's a fine line between medieval times and fucking <laughs> what's the God damn it, the Zeppelin album um, oh. movie. Um, song remains the same. Yeah, song remains the same. It was nutty. Like, it was the song. <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm fun and dream that I dreamed that you give them your respect and knowledge and honor. And we're all like, yeah, <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> and the guys are fl- like driving by and looking at us, like telling us to kiss their ass. <clears throat> and my son is staring at these guys. Me and Maddie Boy, because they don't give you silverware, we take up the metal plate and bowl for your tomato soup and we start banging them and it's loud dude it's like a pr- like prison riot and we're like yeah but you would have thought like that we were sitting next to a senator how fast security came and they go you, you can't do that you cannot do that like hands down wow like put their hands on our hands right so we're kind of behaving but we're nuts but we're getting everybody riled up like and we're sober we're like stone cold sober just going right. bananas yeah and I look at Maddie, I go, we're not staying for the whole thing. Like, we can't walk out with everybody else. It's nuts. And it's a little-ass parking lot down in Anaheim. 
And I go, and he's like, yeah, we're going to leave early. I go, so then let's just get tossed. Like, oh. if, but not like arrested tossed. Let's just bang the pots again. Yeah. Like, what are they getting arrested for banging a goddamn soup bowl at medieval times? Yeah, yeah. And uh, but we didn't. We just kind of hung in there because it was that good of a show. Because <laughs> when the guys really? do this, yeah, when the guys do their sword fights, like sparks and shit come out, and oh, you're shit. like, wow, these motherfuckers think they're in show business. The best part was when the red and yellow knight came over to us because we were heckling him, and he comes over and goes, "Bro, <laughs> the black and white knight are friends with the red and yellow knight." And he's like upset about the yeah, fact. Yeah, it's in the program. It's in the program. It's in the history. I'm from Milani and he's from Veneto. Oh, Bro, we're all really? friends. You're then, heckling the wrong guy. And, and then we he drove just, the dragon. We literally car. pointed at him and went, ah! <laughs> like, you idiot. You think we care about the alliances? <laughs> we're just here to get it on, bro. That is really funny. That Oh, I'd go down there and raise you gotta hell. Gotta let my jazz bell. <laughs> I don't Gotta wear a condom. <laughs> the Gotta let my jaw spill. The horse don't <laughs> wear no condoms because they got to make ponies. <laughs> and then they come bronies. <laughs> Bobby the Brown's bronies. a tenderone. <laughs> I like rice <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Welcome <laughs> to Horseland. Shit. Oh, my God. Um, Lou Ferrigno is deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm gonna oh, roast man. in hell for that. No why? Barry! <laughs> but you I know John DiMaggio, and you were the bottom in a relationship oh. for many years. There's no way you said to the you know there's no way you got up and stopped reading Field and Stream long enough to go, you know what, maybe don't let the deaf guy look for pitch and try to identify pitch. <laughs> identify pitch. Shit. He's in there going. <laughs> He's in there trying to do fucking Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Uh, I'm seeing the very, very, very last. Who, what you are. <laughs> Crosby, Stills, Nash, Young, and Ferrigno. Oh, God. <laughs> You'd like to find two cats in the ground. <laughs> two cats in the ground. The dogs are barking. The dogs, dogs are barking literally. and the people are angry you can people have can come fucking over. suck our faces <laughs> suck our faces suck our faces right totally oh my god is that god. your glow stick or mine i get them mixed up that's um, why i have to wear you it know on what? just grab a hold and figure out which one is which mm. uh, <laughs> john DiMaggio, this is one way to get your movie funded oh what huh just sit here and hang out yeah i know right no but adam carolla did the kickstarter for his movie he went over a million dollars did you guys have a kickstarter i asked you earlier no but i was I, really I listening paid for the movie myself and i'm gonna make that money back and i'm not worried about it let me tell you something about making your own movie all right see hey man <laughs> you gotta make you put me on the stage i'm gonna pay this i'm gonna pay this movie you know, make your own movie i'm gonna make, make my money. own movie yeah i'm gonna all. make my own movie uh-huh. and then yeah. then i'm gonna make that money back you got to get your investors. Hey, man, so, I'm, hey, I invest man. my money. You I'm going to sell it myself. Huh? I'm selling myself. What'd you say now? I'm going to sell it myself. Oh, you going to sell it? You got to sell it myself. I, I know that voice.com. You got to go. I know that voice.com. They go, they go there to pre-order it, and then, they, then, then, then when it comes out, they go get it. They get the link, and they how get the you VOD. Get, how are you going to get the money back now? Huh? What? How are you going to make the money back? Hey, man, I'm going to sell it at cons. I'm going to go to these conventions. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang out with you these people. You got to an investor hey man and say, hey give man. me all your money hey investor. man that's what you, you, you gotta do you, you gotta dirt give me that on your neck huh dirt, dirt on, on your neck you in the cape man Dracula <laughs> what kind of name is that hey come on what the <laughs> suck what you wanna suck you better suck your ass on out of here <laughs> Better suck your ass on down to the blood bank. I Hope you get sickle cell. I knew you wouldn't miss it. Love a ball joke. up on the cylinder, and Johnny just goes up and slams it home. <laughs> We're all looking up like, is it going in? And Johnny went, Hope you get sick ass on down to the blood bank, Junior. Junior? <laughs> I don't play that shit, Junior. Teeth hanging out your mouth. <laughs> you better get all the dots. <laughs> Uh, John DiMaggio, I know that voice dot com. Uh, why don't uh, you the do Facebook a- page and then follow me at the Don DiMaggio. Why don't you do? Uh, why don't you start Kickstarter now? Now that you've already funded it yourself, and the Kickstarter could be just to replenish your pockets. I don't know. It could happen. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Does I don't know. It, I don't know. Say so, how, how's it work? So how much? Well, I don't want. I don't want you to say it on the mics. But you put all your money to make this movie to gl- to really pop up and prop up these really cool voiceover actors that we all know their my voices. My friends, my peers, 
these people are, you know, really wonderful people. I wanted to put a spotlight on them. I mean, the, the movie's a Valentine. And you know what? People are always asking me, you know, about voiceover, what it's like. And they always ask us the same question. And, and basically, it's just like, I just wanted to make this movie. And, you know, just it's like everything you always wanted to know about voiceover. But if, voiceover actors and voiceover, but we're afraid to ask. It's just, you know, we, we, we field, everybody, field the questions that everybody always asks. And, you know, and we got, I mean, there was 150 people we interviewed we like over 160 hours of footage it's down to 95 minutes i mean it's just everybody it's and we and we got everybody everybody's in it i mean no blank no blank is in it you know uh, uh, mel blank's son i mean june foray who was with the original who Rocky. does droopy um you know <clears throat> what you know what shit um i think that she might have been... never win yeah <laughs> and winners never cheat um that makes me mad <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't know who does that voice. Maybe it might have been a lot of trombone and tuba and droopy. Oh wow, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah, wow, wow. totally. You know what? I'm mad. I'm so happy. But you know, I gotta <laughs> let my jeans flow. <laughs> oh, I gotta let my jeans flow. <laughs> I gotta yeah, let my jeans flow. <laughs> Are we gonna do a video to this, Matty no, Boy? That's really horrible. Who's gonna? How do we get the Andrew? Angie probably has all the equipment. Jesus Christ! Well, we can film it on. We can just. Put, we can film it here. Yeah, but I want it. Got to get look, Barry to reverse. I gotta let my jizz flow. <laughs> I gotta let my jizz flow. I can't jizz. believe it's spilling everywhere. I gotta let my jizz flow. Someone get a napkin. I gotta napkin. let my jizz flow. <laughs> oh God, Matty! What year was your jizz born? <laughs> your jizz is on fire, man. <laughs> on I fire. have ties older than it. your jizz. Jesus Christ, man! Daddy, Batty, Batty, Batty Guts, Batty Guts is a wonderful human being. I... Hey, how's how's his fucking spinoff podcast doing? Great, the fucking Laverne and Shirley of Jay Moore. The problem is Laverne and Shirley to your motherfucking happy day. The only problem is he's Carmine. Oh. <laughs> I was going to be Shirley Feeney for a little while. Next time I see him, I'm going to call him the Big Ragu. Hey, Ragu, you know? Maybe a rewrite, Gary Marshall. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yeah, no. yeah, fuck that song. I told oh, no. you, man. Yeah, it's fucking ear. No, I want a earworm. really good video of like shots of you at the pier, like walking on the beach. I gotta let my jizz flow. I don't wear a condom. Cause I, like I gotta you. let my jizz flow. See? I in gotta the, let my jazz flow. In the video, he's at the like, gas station buying like a Red Bull because he's addicted to Red Bull. And then you gotta he stop gets, drinking he, that he, shit. It's bad for your fucking. All right, the guy it's quit, bad for everything. The guy quit fucking, you know, what? cock. Who, who, me? What? No, Matty, like, him? let him do whatever he wants. I'm like, me? Did I quit cock? cock? It's all he's got. <laughs> <laughs> it's all he has left. He's a young man. I let know. him enjoy the cock. Uh, let him enjoy a little fucking bonage every once in a while. Part <laughs> of the, the, best part of the bird. bird. It's the best part of the bird. The best part of waking up is penis in your cup. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Manny Boy in the video goes to like uh in the, go to Venice? In, in the ghetto. Oh. Like when the the guy behind the counter is behind bulletproof glass, uh-huh. and he Maddie buys a Red Bull. Like I don't. For it's the lead up, he's walking to the counter with his Red Bull to pay, and he points, and the guy points to like a scratch off ticket and slides it in the thing, and then he points to another scratch off ticket, and the guy just goes like points to the condom, you know, <laughs> behind the glass. I, I don't, don't wear, wear a condom, condom. <laughs> but I gotta let my jizz flow. <laughs> Yeah, I think we could That's do it. it. That might be a little complicated. That's it. You just I like you it. on the beach with your pants rolled up, like right under your oh. knees. At sunset. At sunset. <clears throat> the magic hour. It is the magic hour. It is the magic. It's the magic hour. This is the magic hour oh, right now. Yeah. It's the magic hour, man. Hey, man. Hey. Huh? What time is it? Magic time. Magic time, baby. That's Look a, at that, my watch. Hey, man. Look at that, man. I, I said right there. Look right there. I said right there. Magic out. Magic out. Magic out. <laughs> huh? 
See the date? Hey, man. Y'all see the date? Huh? The date. The date. On my Magic Hour watch. What's the day on your Magic Hour watch? Magic day, man. Hey, man. Magic Hour, Magic day. Hey, give me a dollar because today is my birthday. Huh? Today is my birthday. Happy birthday. Every day is your birthday. Oh, Magic day. <laughs> Jesus. Johnny's like, what are we doing? Let me tell you something. This is the most. I needed this. Really? Yeah, I really needed this. And I think the listeners. I needed this too. The listeners uh, demanded you back. Like, the fact that the LA Kings watched Jonathan Quick. I'm really. That really makes me so happy that, Jonathan that that's. Saw it, I think to the that's the point where really he was funny. kind of annoyed by it after a while. Oh, no, because um, we just kept sending guys to oh, the video. Oh, oh. Have you ever seen the video that Jonathan Quick has quit? Yeah, I've seen. Yes, I've seen it. Tell him I'm sorry now. Tell no. him I'm tell him I'm I'm happy he saw it. I'm sorry, but then I'm happy again. Luke Robitaille seen it. The whole Kings team saw it. Did, they, everybody, uh, did everybody laugh? No, no one laughed. No one laughed. That's no. not true. Not a single You're gonna make person him laughed. Feel bad. Uh, I want <laughs> the listener to know that Johnny and I and Maddie Boy are actual children. Uh, you know, this isn't like a one off, and I will prove it by reading our text exchange going back the last few months. Oh, okay, it's so going back like two weeks. Um, you looked at uh, two black guys talking hockey that somebody, a fan, animated that. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, and I wrote, that shit was so fucking funny. Come on, Flames. Oh, no, this is you. That shit was so fucking funny. Come on, Flames. <laughs> and I wrote, my God, that made me laugh. Your black guy has little freckles. <laughs> he did. And you wrote back, and all of you humans can suck my udders, udders. <laughs> Utters like a cow is rapping, and I uh-huh. wrote yes. And then I told you, Luke Robitaille and Jonathan Quick have seen this, uh, and you said uh, me and my girl are in Paris eating motherfucking French fruit honkies in Paris. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and I wrote French guys love the cock. <laughs> you wrote back if you mean chicken, then yes, they love a lot of cock. And I wrote back chicken cock. <laughs> And you wrote back, this is from fucking Paris. Yeah. <laughs> and you it's wrote true, back, yeah. I wrote chicken cock. And you wrote back, mm, best part of the bird. <laughs> <laughs> In fucking Paris with your girlfriend. She's like, look at the lights. And you're like, hold on one sec. Best part of the bird. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot about that, man. Oh, oh my god. The best part of the bird. <laughs> oh fuck. Was that the Eiffel Tower? Huh? I don't, I'm, hold on, let me just get this. Let me B- just get this R- mm, D- best part of the You fucking bird. Verizon bill was eight hundred dollars that day. <laughs> just send it on the have you, ever, have you have you ever been to Paris? I have. That's such a great city. Oh I had to God. do press in Paris, and every really? joke that when it runs through an interpreter, no wonder these athletes don't fucking talk. Oh my God, dude! You that go, you do difficult. a joke, and then the interpreter explains, especially to French people, and then they just stare at you like, "Meh, <laughs> it's not as good as wine and cheese That's... and having an afternoon nap with my sister." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great fucking time over there. I had an awesome time. <laughs> really, <laughs> afternoon cock? nap with my sister. I, mean, I ate a lot of chicken cock. It was delicious. <laughs> It was so good. The sauces they make for chicken cock is incredible. You know what it is? Uh, what? what it's, it, it. <laughs> it's fucking. Mon petit lapin, le flan. <laughs> je, je, je n'ai pas <laughs> un, un condom. Un jus de l'écoc. And then, then, I don't know. Fuck, if we had that in French. Shit. All right, so let's make a music video. If anybody wants to volunteer in L.A., let's see what gets made first. <laughs> this video or your yeah. movie. <laughs> <laughs> see what you're fucking America. Put a fucking race on it. America. Yeah, you, know, you guys are gonna. You guys are gonna be out first. Somebody's gonna make it first. That's funny as shit. <laughs> and if they do, they get a signed copy of "I Know That Voice." Why not? If they do the video, if Maddie they do boy. The video first. But can you act real soulful, Maddie boy? I can't. I feel like this version of a song isn't really a beach song, though. But yeah, because you're walking alone on the beach. Everybody <clears throat> likes long walks on the beach. Like that's what's romantic. And the fact that the fact that you're alone on the beach speaks volumes to like the. How depth. about he's walking on the beach with his pants up like like capri pants, and it's and it's magic hour, and the sun is setting, and he sees a condom on the beach, and he looks at it and goes, "I don't wear a condom. I gotta let my jizz flow." The sun sets. Yeah, on. I like gotta that. let my jizz flow. I got it. What? Fucking, we're going about this all wrong. Inside, in bed, a girl gives him the no, 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 the matumbo finger. Oh, <laughs> oh how about this? In bed with the Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> 
And he goes, <laughs> win, win, right there, dude. Uh, to Kembe Mutombo. He can fucking do it. Why not? Jesus, yeah, he's available. Hilarious. And then he gives him the no, no, no. And then Maddie goes, I don't wear a condom. And then he reaches under the bed and pulls out a giant vat of jizz and then oh. just dumps it over his head. Because <laughs> <laughs> he got to let his jizz flow. And then Dikembe says, I got to let my jizz flow. Uh, <laughs> Chewy doesn't like fucking it. Speaks fucking speaks like Cookie Monster in seven different languages. Uh, That's what Roy Hibbert sounds like, like, too. Jizz, yeah, we were just, just trying to do our best. <laughs> I, still, for the beach, I feel like another another song comes to comes to mind. Like I think we need more of a soulful, like a, like a serious... All right, so where do you... You're the artist. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on, flames. come on, flames! Think harder. Keep the puck out of the net, asshole. Should be eleven to forty by now. All right, don't feel, shit the like bed. Be, I feel a bit like it'd be more. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Oh my god, this goalie's oh, shit in the bed. I'm, I'm throwing out the first pitch at Dodger Stadium next week. Can you come? We'll just really? we'll just make fucking crazy shit really? happen. Yeah. When? What day? I don't know. I'll come to. The, I'd love to. Which game? Come on, guys. <laughs> Will you do it? Come on, flame. Come on, fellas. Come on, Los Doyers. I'm feeling blue. I'm feeling blue. Who's feeling blue? Give me a blue. Give me a B. Tool. Give me an L. Give me a U. Give me an E. Feeling e. blue. Who said that? Everybody parts. He did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Boo. How does the fucking artist <laughs> see this video go? Because we've had 40 ideas. And Maddie's like, nah, not feeling <laughs> no, it. No, I like them. I like Meanwhile, Jada Kiss <laughs> is just standing in the parachute pants with rain. And umbra- <laughs> boys and men just stand in matching suits like candy stripers <laughs> and fucking umbrellas. <laughs> I'll make love to you. <laughs> and, Maddie went, <laughs> and Maddie's like, <laughs> Maddie's <laughs> like no, that ain't it. <laughs> What'd you just do? You're a fucking stooge. Oh. What'd you just do, brother? <laughs> he just fucking me. He laughs like he's at the Apollo. He oh, gets shit. him still he and he winds up, he 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 winds up kicking Wait. shit. Oh. Uh. Bones sticking out. Bones all shattered. I'll make love to you and give you a haircut. Yeah, it needs to be more like that. I feel like the song needs to be more like that for a beach song. <clears throat> Fuck the beach. How do you see Let the Jizz Flow video going? This is I don't wear a condom. I gotta let my jizz flow. I gotta let my jizz flow. <laughs> How about... <laughs> Sorry. You're out in something. Yeah. Alone in a giant mansion on a piano in a oh, white suit. That's yeah. good. With, that's that's with, with, a, with a With a candle. With a candle. With a candle. Sh- candelabra. Yeah. With big fucking... Yeah. I don't wear a condom. Let my jizz flow. I gotta let my jizz flow. Brad Williams walk, <laughs> Brad Williams walks in. Brad. Brad but he'll do it. We'll all do it. The whole fake mustache studios <laughs> family will be down. Adam Ray comes in just Wolverine. to fucking Wolverine. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> he was Wolverine Universal. Oh really? Yeah. Who was Wolverine? Uh Adam Ray and Brad Williams have a podcast called About Last Night. We just signed them on the label. Just uh-huh. gobbling talent up, man. You gobbling that talent up. We're going to do this. Yeah. Hey, John. Hey, John. Uh-huh. I, I used to see him at Barney's Beanery. Yeah. He would come up to me and be like, hey, I'm John. Barney. Hey, John. Let me tell you something right now. Mm-hmm. You and me, you and me, we got to get that Dave Chappelle money. We got to do a show together. Pregnant pussy, stay wet. I'm telling you. I'm te- pregnant pussy, stay wet. Yeah, I like this charge. That's true. Never fuck a pregnant girl in the ass. You too quick to shit. <laughs> <laughs> These are all things he's actually said, by the oh, way. Oh, no. We're talking about Brad Williams. <laughs> uh, all right. At the John DiMaggio, at the real Hey Maddie, at jmore 37 uh, Don't forget, friends. You gotta let the jizz flow. You gotta let the jizz flow. We got a little fucking harmony on that one. That was sweet. Calm down. I like you've been there before. Put your name on it. <laughs>